Minister of Security General Eli Tumwini, who addressed journalists at the government media center in Kampala, explained the violence that unfolded in Arua two days ahead of the municipality by-election on 15th August. Honorable Kassian Wadri, Ezati, supporter uh, and his supporters, after being charged up by their MPs who had come to give him support, were visibly disruptive of other candidates' rallies and also engaged in violence. Two MPs, Robert Chagulanyi, popularly known as Bobby Wine of Chadondo East, and Mitiana Municipality's Francis Zake, have since traveled abroad for specialized treatment after they claimed that security operatives tortured them during arrest and afterwards in Arua. Others among the 33 people who were arrested, including Naita Sarah, James Abol, and Shaban Atiku, also say they were tortured. However, Jeno Tumwine, praised the police officers and special forces command soldiers who were in operation in Arua, saying they acted with a lot of restraint. If it was another force, there was a lot of restraint in Arua. I want you to report it. Restraint. You shoot the convoy of the president and nobody was killed. I, 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 I mean, very few people were, were, were harmed. Please, that was restraint because of the discipline of our armed forces. They handle you with care because of our discipline. But when you take it for granted and you want to abuse their awareness, they have a right to defend themselves. And they can defend it if they are proven that it was in circumstances which were beyond their control. A number of journalists have been battered by security operatives in Arua and Kampala in recent times, including NTV's Herbert Ziwa, Ronald Muanga and Ronald Galiwango, as well as Reuters photojournalist James Akena. Jeno Tumwine says such beatings are occupational hazards. He urged journalists to be careful while covering riots and demonstrations. There was not only one media person, there were very many others, even those who were covering it. Now, the only thing I can say is that, first of all, when it rains, when the rain falls, it does not sort out who it will soak. The moment you go in the rain, you are all liable to have some soaking. According to the security minister, some people have misinterpreted the meaning of torture as defined in the law especially in regard to those who may be harmed while resisting arrest. Torture is when you have already been arrested, not before. When you have already been arrested and then you are tortured, either in the custody, either for extorting information or for whatever reason. But being harmed in the course of arrest, we shall wait for the investigations of what exactly happened since they are going on, and I don't want to interfere with that, but you should go and look at the definition of torture in legal terms and according to international, uh, international law. Jeno Tumwine, who is a veteran of the NRA Bush war that brought President Chiori Museven to power in 1986, says security forces will not hesitate in stopping anyone or any group that tries to disrupt peace in the country. We remain firm, I repeat, we remain firm and resolute, as has always been, in maintaining law and order throughout the country. No one is above the law, and lawlessness shall not be tolerated at all. The security minister said government had set up a board of inquiry to investigate operatives who irresponsibly harm citizens, especially the police officers who shot into a commuter tax during a recent riot in Mitiana town and killed one person. Another later died of injuries. Ali Mivule, NTV.